This is the first Chinese meal that I'm going to review on this channel. Let's find out if it's also going to be the last. Um, there we go, that is one sweet hoisin shredded duck noodle. Let's go for the noodles first, because I think they, as you can see, make up the bulk of the dish. Oh, crikey. Um, especially when they kind of get all clanked together in a big sticky lump like, like that. Hmm. There's nothing there. There's nothing there at all, it's just noodles. There's an ever such a slight, I mean really, 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 really slight spiciness to them, but not in a, oh, this is a spicy dish, more like, oh, someone spilt a bit of pepper in or something. I don't know, it just, yeah, those noodles aren't very good at all. Right, let's go for the next thing. I'm gonna go for my favorite Chinese vegetable, the water chestnut. One of these little things. I think that's what they're called anyway. Yeah, water chestnuts, I'm just checking the label. Crunchy, definitely crunchy. Not 100% on them, to be honest. No, I mean, they're fine, they're fine. In fact, as a water chestnut goes, it's how I'd expect a water chestnut to taste. So they're good. Let's let's go with that, they're good. Um, let's go for a bit of pepper. Oh, God. It tastes like pepper, which I'm not keen on. I don't mind peppering dishes where there's lots of salt, like perhaps like a, in the middle of like a, a taco or something, or like a burrito, or diced up and put into another dish. But it's such a big lump, it's just, I just don't like them. Right, let's find a bit of duck, because that's probably gonna be the saving grace. I think, is this the duck here? I suppose it's shredded, it looks like it's not even... I've got onion caught in there and everything. Um, yeah, nah, let's have a try. It's all right, it feels like it's a bit lost in everything else and there wasn't even that much, that was just duck and a couple of bits of onion. Let's try a bit of everything. So, we've got a bit of, a bit of duck there. A um, bit more duck. There's a water chestnut there. A bit of noodles and I'll grab a bit of pepper in a second, a bit of onion. There we go. Altogether, it kind of works. I mean, it tastes like a Chinese dish, but it doesn't taste like a Chinese takeaway or a Chinese restaurant. It tastes like I've got it from a supermarket. It's just a bit... Yeah, I mean, I'm not a fan of Chinese food. And I have to say, this dish so far is not turning me into a fan. I've just remembered, actually, it's meant to be pak choy in this somewhere. I'm not sure where. Well, there's a, there we go, there's a tiny bit. Oh, I think that's a bit on my fork, isn't it? It just tastes like soggy cabbage, which I suppose is what it is. It's soggy Chinese style cabbage. This is not the best dish. It's not, no, don't get me wrong. This is not as bad as the all day breakfast. But I would say if you really, really like Chinese food, you might like this. If you don't like Chinese food, don't, because it ain't going to make you a fan. It's just, it's quite bland. The vegetables are quite powerful in their taste. The meat's kind of lost in it. The noodles are, are just boring. I can't really taste any of the hoisin. Um, in fact, I can hardly, I mean, there's that little bit of duck there. There's a bit of duck there on its own. There we go, there's a proper, oh, there's another bit there. There's a bit there as well. There we go, actual duck on its own. You see the duck is dry. It doesn't taste like it's shredded, not crispy. I mean, it doesn't say it's crispy shredded, but it doesn't taste, not when you go to a Chinese, you know, it's dry, but it's flavorful, whereas this is just dry and there. I mean, it is dark, you know, I'll give it that, but I think poor duck, it's died to be in this. That was no end for it. It deserved better. All in all, I would say, um, if you're anything like me and you're not a big fan of Chinese, don't even look at it, just walk past it, just get something else. If you like Chinese, then perhaps give it a try and let me know what you think, because you might like it, but I doubt it. That's all I can really think to say on this one. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, and uh, bye for now.